Hey, this is Adriana. 17, but I'll be turning 18 in June, and I'll be legal. It's like really bright in here. It takes away all my flaws. You can't even see my face. And the reason I have different hair and stuff when I switch into the next scene right now is because I made two separate videos. <laughs> This is Adriana. I am not dead. I'm clearly alive. I got my braces off and I have new glasses, so if I look different, that's what it is. I'm just going to be talking about things going on in the world that people wouldn't usually look up or just your daily news source, I guess. A lot of my no news source that I'm going to be using is from Popular Science, popularscience.com or the Popular Science magazine. So if any of you guys want to check out the things I'm talking about, that's where I got it from, most of, most of them. I also seen um, today, and you might have heard of it actually, an underwater skyscraper that it's a building dropping straight into the sea. It would generate its own electricity, food, house, thousands, plunge deep into the waves. It's as tall as the Empire State Building except below the ocean. And there's like these little tentacles that it has out of it. They would move around like the ocean generating electricity from kinetic energy. Um, a breakthrough if it goes underway. The creator of this is Audrey Bin Sarkum. It's like an aquaconder. And I've noticed that I haven't really said anything about the world. Science revolves around the world, globalized. Technically, it does. And my babysitting nightmare. Look at this. I'm such a terrible babysitter. No, I'm good. Do you want cheese puff? I don't know about you, but I want cheese puff. Another thing I've seen today was uh, there's a video game that teaches Cambodian kids to avoid real landmines. Video games are actually going somewhere, not just violence in the opposite direction. Cambodian children, you know, they grow up in a nation where there's landmines everywhere, basically. And this video game navigates photos of Cambodian jungles in search of cartoon pets, I guess. So yay for Cambodia. I'm sorry I'm so terrible at this. <laughs>